I really don't have no friends. Y'all know I go through that every couple of years. Y'all can comment down below and be like, Lily can't keep friends. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Cut that bitch off. Cut that bitch off. Not both of y'all singing. <laughs> it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. What's, What's up, up y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, so first and foremost, we wanna promote our Discord. That is one of the best ways to get our attention as far as pinging our cell phones, uh, sending in video suggestions or you know requesting videos for us to react to. So if you wanna join our Discord, it's like 1,500 members in there right now, um, hit the link in our description. All right, babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, so today we're reacting to Life of Lily, The Damage is Done, Getting Wi-Fi, Cleaning and un Clean and Unpack with Me, Entering My Selfish Era. Honey, <laughs> she said she finna start being selfish. All right, well, let's see what Lily talking about. Uh, for a good reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. As you walk in, I got a nightstand nice sitting here. This is the closet so far. It just got shit thrown in here everywhere. So this is finna get organized today. My rack fell when we was when we had it in the U-Haul. So I'm going to probably be putting like all my coats and stuff back outside on the rack because they can get kind of heavy. And I don't know how strong these racks is, but y'all know um, <laughs> my racks be falling down. So I don't want that. And then I need to unpack these luggages because my phone is ready. These are the luggages that I've been living out of for the past few months. So, um, that's my daddy. I know she's okay. daddy. I got my bed up, and if you guys Ooh. seen that yeah, at the actually, beginning. um, I really like this bed. Yeah. Uh, the shape, this footboard shape is very unique. And I like this soft pink color. Yes, it's cute. I yeah. like the pink and gold. Yes. Uh, this video you seen me getting my new mattress which i absolutely love i am however going to go get some box springs because i thought this bed set up a little bit higher I, w I thought it would sit up a little bit higher than what it is <laughs> and um i needed to sit up a little bit higher than what it do i'm gonna take a it's gonna take a she uh remind me of my grandma like my grandma <laughs> comment below if y'all can relate like if y'all people in y'all family, some of y'all older generation or whatever, my grandma bed literally will come up to your fucking nose. Like she likes to have her shit stacked on stacked on stacked. Like it's how she can get it. I don't know why she likes to sleep like that, but when she seen me and Carla's bed, like a platform type of bed, she was like, where's the box spring? Like it's missing something. <laughs> or she was like, do you need a skirt? You know, I'm like, no, we don't need a skirt what is it a bed skirt because yeah. the bed already low yeah i actually like the bed sitting low like I that do though too. but um yeah uh, other than when i'm trying to get my massage though yeah it you is kind of hard to kind of reach you yeah i'd be kind of like yeah mm. <laughs> a little bit for my headboard but i really don't care because i this need to sit cute. up high let me show you guys what i mean when i say that i'm a little dusty i'm gonna get comfortable
this morning so now I'm back home and the kids have been having a ant infestation because the ant is coming from the wood because it's you know raining outside and they're trying to get away so they're coming in our house so I had to go um, tell the lady that we have an ant problem anyways I had to go get some ant spray so that I could spray their room but they were all in Bryce's bed because when oh, he came man. home, his little butt decided that he yeah, was going to eat chips up there. Mm -hmm. And it was a chip up under his bed. So ants was all on it. So I'm oh, like, man. this why they coming to you? You supplying them. I'm probably going to use this for the fridge for infused water. I ain't even going to lie. I feel like that's going to be cute. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. So one is going to be for the fridge and then one is going to be up here detergent <laughs> I hope this thing don't get clogged up that's all I'm thinking if it's supposed to be for liquid it's I would have never I thought get so. the idea but I just would have left it in the container but they be doing this cute system Silly. Or maybe even more. I would have never thought to do nothing like this oh maybe you think she got it on like TikTok or something I don't know but it's like now you gotta lift that whole thing to try to uh, no, you, not unless you take oh, a cup. Cute. And put yeah, it, it, it up in you can just pour the little, pour I'm it in another the bucket thing. bottle, and then I fill it up. <laughs> I just so yeah. It just it so. Anyways, y'all, I got this cute. Uh, it's an ice bucket with the tongs, and I bought it for the pot. For the pots in the washroom or either the um what are the things called going in the dishwasher oh the dishwasher pods so either one of them i don't know but it might be too big for them so i might figure out something else but it's cute <laughs> hey y'all i picked up a See us on the countryside, sitting on the grass, laying side by side. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So I just woke up from a nap. I took a quick little nap after um I got done straightening up after breakfast and editing the vlog. I'm about to get ready to go to my mom's house now and upload it. Oh, you finna sit back down? I what thought you was up. Up doing what? I don't know. Uh-uh, because I got that for you. <laughs> I'm at my mama's house uploading this vlog from y'all and it's taking all freaking day. Okay. And the camera better is about to die. But I've been here for about an hour uploading this vlog, Bryce and I. He over there acting like he's just starving. <laughs> My mom in there in the kitchen. Apparently, I only took her spot. So I'm pretty much just checking in. Today has been a block type of day. If I do some things when I get back to the house, as far as like organizing something, then I'll pick the camera up. If not, then I'll just see y'all tomorrow. Oh, Bryce, you want a piece of bread? I'm gonna get up in the morning, yeah. go to the gym. You want pizza too? And, um,. <laughs> Start tomorrow. I need to film my hair. Yeah, that is funny to me because I remember um, being young and we lived in these apartments and I didn't know people just ate bread, right? So this girl who lived next to me, her mom would do that, like give her bread and they would like just ball it up in a ball and just eat it. Yeah. So then I got to the point where I would just eat bread. And I think that's kind of where my bread addiction came from. Cause I used to have to eat bread with 
Y'all, if I had a piece of meat, I needed bread. But I actually kicked the habit like some years back because it was just like, I was constantly eating bread. So just to hear her say, Bryce, you want some bread? How many pieces you want? One or two? <laughs> well, I think when I saw, um, I saw somebody do this, I don't know who it was. I was really young where they'll yeah. take it and make it a ball. I tried to do that, but for some reason it would make me throw up like to eat it like that. Oh, really? Yeah. So if I eat bread, it has to be like the flat. It yeah, can't be no ball. To, yeah. See, I didn't like the ball either when I saw her do it because I tried it and I was like, what is but that? I would just eat like, like just I would like tear the bread and put it in my mouth. I would tear it and put it in my mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Is the car on? Because my phone did in its charger. <laughs> but so far, I am not liking not having no freaking Wi Fi. That should be rough, yeah. But I only got it just make me think about when we uh lived in our RV full time. Oh, yeah. Um, it used to be a struggle trying to have good Wi-Fi. Sometimes it would take, um, to go Google. Sorry, y'all. Um, the Google thing be picking up on my voice, but sometimes it would take like overnight just to upload a video and it would just slow down productivity. But so I can only imagine her struggle right now. One more day after tomorrow. I know, right? Thursday. These cats pissing me off. I was about there. to get ready and um <laughs> film a hair video, but I'm just gonna edit what I have right now. Huh. Whoa, that why did that almost get out of me? I unpacked a couple more boxes. Move, y'all like getting in front of the camera. <laughs> I unpacked, unpacked a couple boxes. But I have a lot more to go. I just don't have nowhere to put shit right now. My closet is full. Um, not full, full. So tomorrow I'm probably going to start with the boxes in my room. And unpacking my purses and stuff. And since I don't have none of my stuff set up upstairs. or I didn't even have an idea of what I wanted to do for upstairs. I just knew that I wanted like a salon place. Uh, or a place to do my hair, a place to do my makeup. I want, I'm thinking about ordering those um, closet systems that Brie, if you, Pretty Brie MUA, that Brie got in her um, beauty room. I think I was, uh, watch her makeup videos on her. let's see, uh, was it yesterday years old? What a few days years old when I learned that MUA stands for makeup artists. And that's when we was talking about I don't know what they was talking about, but everybody in our comment oh, section, oh, dear, everybody was like, yeah, MUA, MUA. I was like, what the fuck is MUA? And I was like, makeup artist. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. I'm um, trying hauls and stuff like that. I like them. So I was thinking about ordering them off of Amazon because I do need something. I need something where I'm able to hang clothes, have like my fragrances, my shoes, and, and it still be cute. So I want to do quite a bit up there. It's going to take some thought and it's going to take some time. Y'all know I love like decor. I get inspiration, but I always like tweak it and make it my own. I can't wait to show y'all what I do in my room. I don't know if I showed y'all my mirrors or not on the last vlog, but um, you see, I still kept my nightstand that I had at the other house. But oh, these my are my mirrors right here. And I'll show y'all better in the daytime. But I got two of them. And they are going to hang um, right here over the nightstand. And then I have some pretty lamps in my closet. Not in my closet. In my cart. But I was on this. Um, I don't have to show y'all how titty. I was on this website called Burt. Company, Burke Company, um, and they had a sale, and they had some pretty like unique lamps. Y'all, these lamps are not cheap. They not cheap at all. But I'm not. I like for stuff to be affordable, but quality. quality. Yeah. And if it's not going to be like the quality, then I don't mind paying the price. So if a lamp is two hundred some dollars per lamp, then I'm gonna pay that because I know I want a particular quality. But if I can get 
the quality look for the affordable price, I'm gonna do that. So with me being a Libra, y'all know I be indecisive a lot of times on things because I fuck around and find so many different things. And then I have several offers. I mean several, not several offers, like just several options. And it makes me confused, I get overwhelmed, and then I procrastinate. That's the story of my life. So, um, yeah. This bed, I don't know if I showed y'all this, if the video is out by now or what, because I'm going to try to be uploading vlogs more regularly. <laughs> I can't say that word. I'm going to try to upload vlogs a little bit more regular than I had been because I have been uploading vlogs every two weeks, every once a week and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to make it more consistent because I do have so much going on and I don't want it I don't want it to seem like I'm just coming and I'm talking to y'all and I'm talking about bullshit and it's just choppy and then y'all don't see me again for a couple days I'm pretty much I just want to be done with that okay I want to be done with that because I'm tired of that like I don't need to do that no more um I need to stay in the energy that I'm in, which is a creative energy, which is a happy energy, which is a flowing energy. I just want to stay in the receiving mode. So we gonna pray to stay here and not get in no slump and not be feeling cr not creative, not be feeling stuck, and we just gonna push through and we gonna go. You know, she kind of make me think, um, like how we always say, emotions they come and they like come and go mm -hmm. in waves. Um, what I have been learning more and more too, is that, um, certain types of energy, like she's talking about, it comes and goes. So like it's certain times of the year or the month or the week where I'd be really creative or really ambitious or lethargic or depressed. And it's like when, like she said, when you are in those creative modes or are you like really getting work done? It is important to milk the hell out of that shit because yeah. you know that like it's, it's a wave. So then you're going to have a moment where it's kind of down where you don't really feel like doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel, you know, you don't feel as productive. So she's making a really good point. And I know a lot of times when I be like getting down about like my actual presence or how I feel because bitch, nobody warned me. I ain't going to lie. Y'all did warn me. Turning 30, like your body just feels different. Like it's like every day I'm so extra over aware of my body. Like I can just feel everything, everything hurt. I can't bend the same, just like this ankle. Y'all please don't whoop me. I still ain't went to the doctor to get this uh, ankle check. I and this ankle still be swollen the hell up and it uh. still be crazy. So um, when I come back from the vacation that I'm gonna go on, I'm going to go to the doctor and just take she whatever they, they on tell me mom. about this ankle. Because I pray, please pray that I have not damaged it even more. Yeah. Um, I pray, I pray that I have not damaged it and made it worse. So, um, if so, the damage is done. The damage. Is oh, done, that's so. why the title is there. The damage is done. Yeah. Um, we're going to just go with whatever they tell us. But I'm running out of memory on here. I'm about to get ready to edit. I'm loving my bed, honey. Me too. And it's beautiful. I'm making y'all yeah. dizzy, y'all know. This is the boxes that's in my room currently. Still. It's okay, girl. We got and somewhere to stay. Right here, yes. laid out on my white comfort. I'm, I'm going to watch it. it. And I got a higher. I got to hire a cleaning service because, baby, she can't hold down the fort by herself. She can't do it alone. She ain't going to do it alone. Baby, she going to get help this time. She ain't She ain't going to try to tackle everything because it just ain't in me. <laughs> All right. Hey, babies. So, I don't know if I checked in on today's vlog or not. But I did go to the gym this morning, went to go work out, and um, hence my hair all over my head. I'm sorry, guys, that I've been having my hair looking crazy for the past couple of days, but I've been busy. So, um, I'm just coming back from dropping Bryce off because he has karate and I'm hungry. Oh, so, I'm going to eat pineapples. 
and I told y'all that I had been snacking <laughs> on bananas and um, peanut butter. So I'm probably gonna snack on some. Bananas. Oh, you see mm -hmm. Rocket right there? No. The what? urn, the cat urn behind the bananas. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> I am yet to go grocery shopping. I haven't been grocery shopping. Still got rocky. Because we ain't got stuff to figure out. But I'm sitting over here filming a hair review. And, um. That's my mind, right? I'm yeah. filming a hair review. I've been waiting to see her hair. And I'm not going to be installing the dang on hair review until tomorrow. I burnt my tongue tasting a pizza roll for Bryce. Oh. And my. My tongue ain't been right since. What's wrong? Huh? Yeah, cause uh, y'all know she got those lock extensions in there. Yeah. It looks like it looks really good. It does. Let me make it small. I don't breathe. Mama's so cute. Somewhere. You want me at breakfast? Mama got breakfast at um six thirty. What is that one? But be careful pulling that. You got a little highlight at the end. The things on the doors keep falling off. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But these strawberries in here are old, and that piece of that piece of um pineapple is too sour. I don't know if it's too sour because I burnt my damn tongue, and pineapple ain't gonna do nothing but burning my. <laughs> I heard from what I can see, but looks really good. Yeah, I was like, why she look different? You think I'm she look gonna, different? Try to finish yeah. curling. I almost with didn't her. think it was her. Maybe what her glasses. Maybe is set up in the areas that I'm going to film in tomorrow. So everything can already kind of be set up and I won't have to go through that long process of trying to find somewhere to film, setting up since I don't have my filming room ready yet. And I was trying to see if I'm going to film in the bathroom, the kitchen, or in front of my bed. I don't know yet. So we're going to see But I have in my mind to do three videos tomorrow. So I'm going to write them down. And then with one of them, I'm going to have to kind of not have a script, but a little guideline of what I want to be talking about because I don't want it to be all over the place. I was just thinking about when she was uh <clears throat> talking about how she like knows when she turned 30, you know, things start changing. I think she's 31, ain't she? Mm -hmm. If she's 31, then that maybe she's going to turn 32 because she's a Libra. But um, yeah, it it think like we said before, things it does. It does feel different when you hit that age, you know. Like I said, I started noticing like little bitty hairs growing on my chin. I'm not able to move the same, but that's when I really realized just like why it is important that we take care of our bodies. Like yeah. all that shit that we did as kids, all like that crap we be, you know, we was raised on eating and all that stuff. It's like it catches up with you. Yeah, it does. But then I think about how good like you're doing now with working out, eating right, and shit like that. Like I can only imagine how good you feel. Yeah. You'll probably end up eventually in better shape than you've ever been in your life if we stay on this same road. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh wee. Great rising. So welcome to another day of the vlog it is thursday and i woke up with another headache today i have been waking up with these headaches and they be like right here and it drive me crazy so i'm gonna have to um put something on my stomach so i can take a time now oh that damn internet man scared the shit out of me the people are here finally setting up my internet yes so i'm happy about that Day outside, setting up the router and one is in the living room. So I'm gonna brush my face, brush my face. I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, and then go ahead and get my day started. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym. And then when I come back home, I'm going to film the videos that I'm supposed to be filming today. So I just wanted to check in and say good morning. Um, Tomorrow will make one week that I have been in my house. 
I'm back. I was waiting to go to the gym. I was waiting on them to get done with the Wi-Fi, but I'm running out of time. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to the gym tonight, and I'm gonna go ahead and start on my makeup and then get started on these videos that I gotta do today. So they still in here doing this Wi-Fi, honey. Brights this up. Let me show y'all. Over there on the floor. Why he's so, yeah. oh, because of the ants. <laughs> Once that is done, I am going to go ahead and get into this try on haul. I suppose no, I got to do the hair video, and then I'm gonna get into this try on haul. And once I'm done with that, I can go to the gym later on tonight. I, I also, this weekend, going. today is just, today is, today is Thursday. So, I'm going to um, start packing this weekend. Y'all, I have so many clothes. And this is not even all my clothes. So, this, 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 this. And I was looking at my damn Instagram. And I have to be totally honest. I was archiving a lot of pictures. I was like, with as much clothes as I got in here, you would think I'd get fly. But I rarely get dressed. And when I do get dressed, I dress super comfy, like super, um, like simple. I got this body phobia. Like, I don't know. It's something about the way I be feeling about my body. But I got some really nice things that I need to wear. And when I wear stuff, I'm going to wear it and then I'm going to get rid of it. If I don't feel like it's something that I could be, that I can wear it again because I just be holding on to shit. Like a whole bunch of this stuff, I'm going to be getting rid of because why? Why do I still got it? A lot of this stuff is like way before goddamn 2018. It's just like, can you even fit that? Stop playing with yourself. <laughs> you may have uh, like some weird emotional attachment to some of that shit. Cause uh, my mom, she actually kind of struggles with, like I said before, she kind of struggles with letting things go. Like you can see little pieces of like hoarding type of activity with my mom. And uh, when we were, when me and my little sister was trying to help her move out of her house, like my sister, she just went in there and she just ramshacked. Like, just ran through my mom emotions. Yeah, put this up, put this up, blah, let's go. But when I was there, I'm just, you know, I just didn't know what to touch. And then when it came to her closet, I was like, well, mom, you know, I can help you, you know, um, get rid of stuff in your closet. She was like, no, that's just, it's just too emotional. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? But she be having like a lot of shit in her, a lot of clothes and stuff, like from years. Probably, she probably still got some clothes from when me and my little sister were little girls. I think it'd be like some emotional attachment to some of that stuff. But, oh, I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm going to take the kids to get something to eat and <sighs> drop them out. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Getting ready to go out this door. Like I'm so sleepy. 
I have two more videos to go home and film. But I'm feeling like I need a freaking nap. Like, is it just me or like after? I'm gonna say like like 50 times how you know I'm sleeping. But is it just me or after you eat, do you get like this uncontrollable itis? I, I don't know if I'm just <laughs> if it's just the fact that I'm over 30 now. But like I had two um, tropical sunrise margaritas and chilies and. I am sleepy and these glasses is irritating me because the lens is dirty. These lens, the lenses on these glasses get so dirty so fast and it's like, it don't matter how many times you clean them, they just get back dirty. So Tom Ford should be ashamed of themselves. I don't know if it's, I mean. I mean, just to answer her question, that uncontrollable itis, it really, I think, depends on what you eat. What, do you think that? Yeah. 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 It's the lens that come in the glass, right? Or maybe it's the type of lens I got. I don't know. But this frame was like over five hundred dollars. So that's irritating. Over five hundred dollars for some damn plastic. I'm probably not ever doing that again. Like ever. That was just a waste. But um Where's we just dropped Bryce mama? off with his granny. The kids are going with their people today. This one has been with me for over three weeks because you know we was you living in my mama's house. And she don't want to go, but she has to, cause oh, I need to get why. shit done. I need my piece. Bryce didn't want to go either, and that always made me sad. But I need to get shit done, and this is not the time to be trying to get sad because they want to be at home. I really came home and got in the bed. I'm about to take a nap. I got my robe on my pillows because I got this freaking makeup on and. My sheets and comforters and shit is all white. So, I'm about to take a nap. Man, them naps be fucking then, shit up. I had legit took a nap yesterday and was up all night last night. I still got in the bed, still woke up in my regular time because a lot of y'all know we're scheduled everything. We get up at seven every day. But, um, yeah, that nap, I had a little bit of nap. You be thinking it's so innocent. That mug threw me way off. And I'm actually like really tired, but I said, I'm gonna fight through today. I'm not gonna take a nap. And then I'm gonna go to sleep at the right time. But I'm tired as hell for real. And when I get up, hopefully I'm in the mood to film my little video. <laughs> and what I'm gonna be talking about today is procrastination and discipline, which is something that I need to work on so bad. So, so bad. <sighs> Discipline, I mean, it ain't easy. If it was easy, uh, you'll have a lot more, I think, successful people in life. Yeah. But you do notice that a common trait, a common thing between a lot of successful people, they are disciplined. They schedule everything. They, you know what I'm saying? They have morning routines, night routines, shit like that. But it's, it, again, it's not easy. Fascination and discipline play such major roles in my breakdowns and my mental meltdowns all of that so i need to get it together honey get it together i'm going to be getting it together and i'm going to be helping you guys with some tips and tricks so that y'all can get it together too but when i get up i'm gonna show y'all a few things around the house i might have my mind do her little room tour if she still be here when i get up I have her do her little room tour and she can tell you where she got everything and I'll try to have it linked below. But if not, it'll be in the next vlog for sure, for sure. So, I shall return after this nap. <laughs> oh, I think this camera battery did. Y'all, I am up for my nap. Dang. And girl, it's now 8.46 at night. So, currently, yeah, you went to sleep. I have to go and <laughs> drop Mariah off. Uh, dad's house because the goal was to see my kids on Monday. <laughs> so that's what the plan is. It's gonna be up to like 3 but in the morning. I almost overslept. So I'm gonna go there. Shit, it's gonna be 9 o'clock. I don't even have time. I don't know why I'm putting this back on. I don't have time to make it to Target. Nothing. <laughs> So the mess is fucking shit up. All that tomorrow, sweetheart. We're gonna go after though to not do shit because 
Where do I have to go? I don't talk to people. I don't know people. I don't do shit but be in the house. <laughs> um, I'm back to the stage where I really don't have no friends. Y'all know I go through that every couple of years. Y'all can comment down below and be like, Lily can't keep friends, bitch. I can definitely keep friends. I'm an amazing friend. I'm a great friend. But the more my energy elevates, the more I grow, the more people just fall about my life. And I've learned to stop chasing them. I've learned to stop questioning it. I've learned to just let God do what God do. You know? I ain't gonna question shit. I ain't gonna cry about it. I mean, of course you grieve about it because friendships are like relationships. But it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. <laughs> Who's he cutting off? Like, it's never been that serious, so. Mm. Mm. Cut that bitch off. Cut that bitch off, man. Not both of y'all <laughs> singing. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Um, it is about to storm. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. I'm dropping. I just dropped my mom off at her dad's house. We had to stop by my mom's house. I know it's dark. We had to stop by my mom's house to get her um, basketball shoes because she do got games this weekend. But it's a raining, so I really have nothing to do. I just like, I just need to take my hands home. So, yeah, that's gonna be my first night sleeping away. alone in this house. <laughs> oh my gosh, with no TVs on the wall. But I'ma go bring, I had my TV sitting on the, on the floor in Bryce's room, so. I'm gonna probably go bring that one since it ain't that heavy downstairs in my room. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I am in home goods. They got a couple of these plans, so I'll just show you what I'm looking at. I just came back from home good I'm about to finish my smoothie from smoothie King and um put up some of the stuff that I've freaking acquired I got a lot of stuff all over the place but I had got this cute plant from home goods it's so cute I don't know which room is gonna go in but my accent color for um at least the downstairs area is pink but it's gonna be like y'all gonna see y'all gonna see but mostly this stuff is pretty simplistic and it's going to be black and white i like these paintings that i had saw um it's one more behind it it's kind of small and it's that one so i like these paintings that i saw i spent like 183 dollars today so that wasn't too bad all right so first and foremost um i just want to say i really like um what i see so far in the house as far as the pink bed with the pops of gold um it looks like you're going in a good direction especially like in the living room with those paintings and a little accent or pops of pink yeah um really good job as as far as her you know getting back into working out and shit yeah what do you think about the video i thought the video was cool i enjoyed the new music oh yeah um i like the fact that she is you know just taking time to herself you know to keep herself centered so that she can stay focused and the fact that she is back in the gym yeah there's nothing wrong like she said she's being selfish at this time there's nothing wrong with just you know loving yourself taking care of yourself I think we all have those moments. And then as far as the friends, you know, them coming and going, there's a reason they say that people are in your life for a season. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I don't think people are necessarily meant to just be in your life all the time. Like, even with family, you may have family members that maybe you hang out with at certain times. And then sometimes you just don't even really talk to them like that. Yeah. Um, like I tell Nick, I think sometimes when you have family or friends, Anytime you start to get too involved, you know, like telling your business or something like that, it's like you can end up bumping heads. 
that's how I keep peace in my life. It's like, I love people when they come around, but I don't try to like milk too much of that time. It's like, just please give me some distance. Yeah, it's like she, Carla, she got plenty of friends and it's like, but they're not on each other, breathing on each other like that all the time. I think that's when, like you said, that's when a lot of issues come. Yeah. Just think about little Sierra. Sierra's younger. You know, she's in her early 20s and she's like always around people. And so then always she's always something going on. Always something going on. So it's just natural. Yeah. The more you're around people, the more shit is going to happen. Yeah. But all right, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.